সুপ্রিয় দর্শক প্রবাসে প্রয়োজন অনুষ্ঠানে আজকে আমাদের সাথে আছেন বাংলাদেশী বংশোদ্ভূত ব্রিটিশ নাগরিক এবং বিশিষ্ট চলচ্চিত্র নির্মাতা এবং সিনেমাটোগ্রাফার সাদিক আহমেদ এই তরুণ গুণী মানুষটির সঙ্গে আজকে আমরা কথা বলব তার চলচ্চিত্র এবং জীবনের নানান দিক নিয়ে বাংলাদেশি But how did you uh, involve in filmmaking? I wanted to make films from when I, ever since I could remember. I, I knew about films. I kind of had an idea about storytelling, what was a good film. I knew what was a good film, what was a bad film. And I remember exactly when I was 14, 14 during my GCSEs, which are equivalent to your 15 exams, I think, which are all metric exams here. I went up to my teacher and I said I wanted to make films. Apart from basic education, I studied fine art at Central St. Martin School of Art, which is um, uh, quite a well-established art school in Europe. Um, I finished my um, honours and uh, <clears throat> kind of did odd jobs, did an amb- was an ambulance driver, you know, found that I couldn't get um, any work as, a, as an artist, as you know, you cannot fund yourself being an artist, nobody pays you to make art. So uh, um, I did various jobs and uh, eventually, through luck and determination, <coughs> um, basically um, managed to g- get scholarship to go to the National Film and Television School and be selected amongst six other lucky people, internet people, to study for an MA in cinematography. Your short film, Tanjumia, got uh, great reviews and awarded from different international film festivals. We would be glad if you kindly share your plot and experience while making Tanjumia. The experience of ma- making Tanjumia is uh, actually a very long story and hopefully an inspirational one, but I'll try and keep it quite short. Um, basically, while I was my first year at the National Film and Television School, I uh, had quickly realized that I needed to make a film while I was there, while I had the support and the equi- access to the equipment at the National Film and Television School. So I, I became obsessed with making this film, Tanjumia. And uh, I spent a couple of months, three months, financing it, managed to get the financing. And the second part, which was the hardest part, was to actually get the support of my peers, you know, my ustad, uh, Brian Tufano, who um, who is a very famous British uh, cinematographer and, uh, an Oscar, uh, and uh, so, uh, a member of the British Society of Cinematographers. Um, I, I, the first day I told him when I was going to make this film, Tanjumia, he bluntly told me, no, you can't direct, you're a cinematographer. That's what I selected you. Keep your mind focused on cinematography. Alan Parker, who's also a very famous British filmmaker, who's uh, an Oscar winner, and um, I knocked on his door, went past his receptionist, knocked on his door he was in, stormed in and just pitched him. I said, look, I'm struggling to make this film. I've got this money. Please give me this opportunity to make a film. You know, nobody believes me. And he took a deep breath and he told me to sit down and we had a chat. And he liked my determination. And one thing about Nick Powell, he believes in young talent. And and I explained to him, you know, how, how much struggle I'd had. You know, how everybody, including my teacher, had basically said no and laughed at me. And he actually was quite... Um, impressed by my determination and said okay we'll take the risk I'll let you have all this equipment super 16 millimeter equipment which is worth about 200,000 pound with the lenses you go out there and you make sure you bring the equipment back so I did I left spent two months out searching for this film I had in my head and eventually made this film we know the last taku is your first full-length feature film as director, writer, and also cinematographer. Uh, we'd be highly glad if you could kind of share your opinion about this film. The last Thakur, 
uh, I first like to say I'm extremely proud of this film, proud of what we achieved in Bangladesh, and also proud that um, Bangladesh is put Bangladesh on the map. I wouldn't say that it's made me successful. I'd say it's made Bangladesh successful. Sadiq, uh, would you please say something about your future plan? Okay, my next film here, which is uh, actually happening as we speak. Um, I'm in pre-production at the moment, going into casting for a science fiction here, a film, a science fiction film here, here in Dhaka, here in Bangladesh. Um, and it's been very tough again to make a Bangladesh a film in Bangladesh. We're really, really grateful to have you in our program uh, on behalf of Bangladesh Television and this program, Prabhashi Priyajan. Lot of thanks to you. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm proud to be here and it's an honor. And I'm really surprised at the respect I've received here by Bangladesh and by Bangladeshi crew. And um, I hopefully, with the continuing support I've received since my career started here, which started in Bangladesh, and hopefully will continue in Bangladesh. And uh, hopefully with my new film, that I can build a future for Bangladesh film industry and uh, raise the platform for us Bangladeshis, for people to look to us for inspiration and uh, build a future for myself and Bangladesh as a film industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.